Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to talk about Big Brother, um, Celebrity Big Brother uh, 2. I think it'll be coming on uh, J uh, the 21st of this month, January. Um, I said I was going to review. I said I'm going to review. You know, I'm not a big TV reviewer, show reviewer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I said I was going to review Big Brother. Uh, I think that's kind of what kind of got the ball rolling for me um, on YouTube was when I was talking about like Polly and Davion. What was her name? I forgot her name that fast. Davion and that whole mess. I think that was like one of my, that's like one of my most watched videos. So yeah, so I was going to review Big Brother. You know, Big Brother comes on like two, three times, two or three times a week, I believe. I know Big Brother does three times a week. I don't know if Celebrity Big Brother comes on this. I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to review Big Brother. You know, the videos may be a day or late too. I mean, a day or too late, but I'm going to review the show. They revealed the cast. So the cast is Anthony uh, Anthony uh, Scaramucci. Remember, he was uh, the communications director for Trump. Um, a mess. He was he was fired like at two weeks after he got the job. To me. Anthony, I heard he's already rich anyway, so money's not a problem uh, for him. But he's a fame whore. You can clearly tell that he wants, you know, he wants to be fame. Um, Jonathan Bennett, I don't know who that is. They say he's an actor, producer. Tamar Braxton, you know, from Braxton Family Values. Uh, Tony's little sister. <laughs> Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, Escape. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting because I don't know if Tamar and Candy are friends. Um, I know, you know, those girls in Atlanta, they usually run the same circles like the Candies and the Rashidas and the Toyas and you know, all those girls, they usually run the same circles. Um, but I think at one point, I think I'm not for sure. I know Tiny and Tamar had fell out, but I don't know. I don't really even know if Candy and Tamar were really friends or they just knew each other. Or they had mutual friends. You know what I'm saying? But I remember that time, the Queen's Court. Remember the Queen's Court had went to, um, not the Queen. Yeah, the Queen's Court. Remember when it was Kaya and, uh, what's that bitch name? T.S. Madison. Uh, Kaya and T.S. Madison. They had went to open up the show for Tamar. It was Tamar and Escape, I think, on tour together or something like that. And the Queen, Tamar had invited the Queen's Court. And Candy and Tiny and I guess T.I. I guess they caught wind. I don't know who was behind it, but they wouldn't allow um, Candy. They wouldn't allow um, the Queen's Court to go on stage. They tried to say they had guns. I guess I don't know if it was Candy. I heard it was more of T.I. than anything. But it'll, it'll still be interesting to see them stuck in the same house. Uh, Tom Green, you know, he's a comedian. I forgot all about Tom Green. Um, Lolo Jones, I forgot all about Lolo Jones. You know, she's a, an Olympic star. Um, Kato Kalen. Didn't he have a porn? Didn't he do a porn tape? I think that motherfucker was fucking on tape. I don't know. I mean, but who haven't fucked on tape? <laughs> a lot of our shit just ain't got released. <laughs> Ow. Joey Lawrence. Now, Joey Lawrence, that's a nigga who I will fuck the shit out of. That Joey Lawrence has always been fine to me. I love his skin. Everything about Joey, I love. That motherfucker know he fine. I'll fuck the dog shit out of Joey. Um, Ron Lochte, that's a grown-ass nigga who lied. Remember when Billy Bush was trying to call him a kid? Remember? What did that motherfucker lie about? I know he was at the Olympics, and something happened. He made up a whole fucking lie. And everybody was like, oh, he's just a kid. He's just a kid. No, that's a grown-ass man who told a grown-ass lie, okay? But, of course, you know, he white. So, of course, they're going to try to cover up as much as they can to protect him. Um, I guess, can you be mad? Uh, Dina, what, Dina Lowen, that's uh, Lindsay Lowen's mother. Um, is she a drunk? Is that hoe a drunk? I think she a drunk hoe. I'm not for sure. But it's going to be interesting, though. Because I think they give, they give these celebrities alcohol, too. Um, Natalie Eve Marie, they say she's a former WWE wrestler. I don't know who that is. And then Ricky Williams, he's a former NFL player. I don't know who that is. Um, but I'm ready. Like I said, I'm going to review Big Brother, um, Celebrity Big Brother. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to review every episode. It may be a day or two late, but, um, you know, cause I don't really watch TV in real time a lot of times. 
Um, you know, it's commercials and shit and girl, whatever. But yeah, I'm going to review Big Brother. I, I feel like, you know, you know, a lot of y'all, well, not a lot. Some of y'all wanted me to review Big Brother last season. And I kept saying I was going to do it and I got so far behind. I was like, I just couldn't do it because I was like, you know, it comes on three times a week. So, girl, about a month, a month had passed. I was like so behind. I'm like, I'm, I, I, I didn't want to like start off because I don't want to start off a month later because I missed a month and I wouldn't really know what was going on. So yeah, I'm going to review Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother. I cannot wait. Um, I'm glad they don't have the token black person. I'm glad they got at least four niggas in the house. Okay. Um, that's another reason. You know, I have my things with Big I have my issues with Big Brother. I understand. And then I'm going to get off of this. I understand that Big Brother has like, whenever you do, do Big Brother, not the celebrity big big brother, but big brother. It really is a only. It really is only a certain type of person that can do big brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty much it has to be an entrepreneur. You know, somebody that doesn't work. You know, a personal trainer, maybe a school teacher. But like a lot of people who work like nine to fives and shit, you can't do big brother because you're stuck in a house for. You could potentially be stuck in a house for what three to four months, two to three months. That's a long ass time to not be at your job. So I get that there's only a certain group of people that can do Big Brother, but it's like, girl, they put the same exact people in that house every year, and it's just like, uh, it's just gotten old to me. Like, I don't want to see the one gay person. I don't want to see the one black person. I don't want to see 16 white people. I don't want to see the old white man. I don't want to see the old white one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm tired of that. You know, the one blonde girl from um, California, the one blonde boy from California, they fall in love and fuck on the show. You know, the one girl from Alabama, the one boy from Alabama, they fall in love and fuck on the show. Like, I don't know. Anyways, bye, y'all.